Now, for the second part of my Lego haul, this is from the Pick-A-Brick Standard. And I have a been waiting for these parts for well about probably about five weeks or so. And now since they have arrived. Now well, let's see what we got in here. And it's one of those early mornings again. What on earth, Jay, are you building this time? So when I do a parts run, usually I get parts from various future tutorials. These are just rough ideas that I build and kind of want to kind of just poke around a little bit here. Let's see what we got here. Obviously you can tell I got these big giant ramps. Looks like these are about the thickness of a tile. And no, I'm not going to be putting crown molding around my house, although that's what it looks like. Okay. I just needed two of these. Maybe I should have got four. By now, some of you probably already can guess. <laughs> Set those off to the side. And okay, so these are indeed dark blue. I've been looking at these popsicle pieces for quite some time. And I thought that these were the light blue. No, no, these are the dark blue. Like regular blue. And great for like ice cream and such. And yes, there's Jay the Surfer's wig, but in gray. I'm still looking for this in white. Um, you know, my hair's starting to get little white streaks here and there through it. <laughs> I hope it never turns gray, but white I'm okay with. And we have a yellow fro. Got one of those. And some of these... I don't know what you'd call these, like top of a tree stump or something. And got two of those. Now, I've been eyeballing these pieces as well right here. Um, this is the pearl silver. I got a couple pearl silver mugs and a pearl silver shovel. It does seem suitable for this color, so I got those. And some more leafy pieces. And <laughs> got a couple of gold wigs. I saw these and I thought, well, why not? Uh, matter of fact, this is more like the color of my hair. It's like maybe a darker blonde. And just like just a regular, uh, I don't know what you'd call that. Maybe a Caesar cut and then just the center part. Longer hair. Sh like, a, like a flow. A bro flow. <laughs> oh, and I got two of those shovels. And I got some 1x4x2 wall elements. I'm saving these for a project. Can't tell you what it is, but it's something I've been working on for quite some time. And just been kind of toying around with that. Got a, well, I had. I got one of these, what, lime green wigs. So it's mostly just wigs this time and leaf pieces. And I got some cheese slopes. So whoever cut the cheese, well, yeah, there you go. And these are printed. I'm always looking for printed pieces, especially food. So I got a handful of those and some of these inverted 2x2x2 uh, by two by two nose cones. And of course, if you stick this on here, looks like you got yourself a little ice cream cone. So I've been wanting to get these too, and I just kind of like, yeah, I don't know. What am I going to use these for? And I thought, yeah, it would be perfect for something like that since it is summertime and all. And the dark green and orange leaves. So I'm always in a bit of a pinch. I always like to get a couple of these to you know clear an order and such. So what do you think I'm making here? I'll let you leave that to your imagination. Now, when I come up with tutorial ideas, a lot of the stuff that I usually build is multicolored. And then I try to bit trying to find all the bits and pieces in the right colors. And it does take some time. So sometimes I'll have a tutorial that seems real that's really cool, you know, and well, I don't have the right color apart. <laughs> now I wish I could find these in gray, as funny as that may seem, or maybe a nice light blue. 
but I was hoping this would be a very gradual drop here like it would just go like that maybe not and yes looks like pieces that you'd use for a half pipe and you know I've been on these a few times when I was younger and uh, well let's just say I was I was lucky enough not to have a face plant but other issues <laughs> so got those and I know some people have been asking about a skate park and such and oh something else caught in there oh a lollipop okay I kind of figured you know so I've been trying to I've been thinking about these so let's take a look here um, how much were these here I can't remember I know they were pretty darn pricey but yeah they were like two something a piece pretty expensive and the other parts that are pretty pricey is the cheese pieces because they're printed but like I've said in millions of other reviews I don't mind paying the bucks for the printed stuff the stuff will last a lot longer and it's to me it feels authentic it's not just a sticker on a tile and go look there we are <laughs> But yeah, this is a nice part saw. So tell me what you think these parts are going to be used for, especially these. What do you think these will be used for?